When providing reusable components to be used by site administrators, you may also want to provide a set of reusable styles that can be applied to the panel pane background or pane title. Let's say your style guide calls for four different backgrounds of callout boxes and three different heading styles, including a default style for the heading and a no background style. Wouldn't it be nice if a site editor could pick and choose the combination of background and heading style for any given panel pane. And what if whatever combination they chose, it would remain in line with the original vision of the style guide? What if you could do all of this in the panel's interface simply by selecting a radio button on a settings form without having to bother the themer or a front end developer to somehow try and target the styles of some random panel pane on some random panelized page? Such an administrative experience can be made possible with CTools style plugins. A CTool style plugin allows a developer to provide a settings form and a template file that can be chosen and configured by a site administrator using the panel's style interface. In this lesson, we'll walk through the panel's style interface. We'll take a look at what's provided by default and we'll be introduced to our demo style plugin and the functionality that it provides. I'm on a content page whose content type has been panelized, so naturally there are several different panels that I've placed on this page. I'm also using the panels in place editor, which I can access through the customize this page and change layout options provided by these buttons at the very bottom of the page. So to access the style settings for individual panel panes or the regions, I need to click on the customize this page button. And I can access those style settings on a region through clicking on the region style button, which is a paintbrush icon, or for a panel pane by clicking on the brush icon in a particular panel pane. So I'll go ahead and click on this brush icon. And you can see there are several different options available already through panels module, including the system block, no markup at all, no style and rounded corners. If I were to just click on rounded corners and click next, it's just a one step process with no further configuration options. If I click on this brush again, I can also select my custom paint styles, which I've implemented in a custom module, which demonstrates that you can have a multi-step form as well. I could select a reverse color values and a bold heading style. And what this does is by selecting the custom pane styles, I've told panels that I want to use the template file provided by this particular plugin. And by selecting the options here, what I'm saying is take the value that I've selected and insert it as a class name in my template file. Then I have a style sheet provided by my theme that implements this, these styles. So I'll click save and now I have a panel pane using a separate template file with separate markup than the rest of the panel panes. Go ahead and save this page. You can also access style settings just in a traditional panels administrative interface without the in place editor. I'll head over to the home page, which is not using the in place editor. And in the contextual menu, I will edit the panel. And to access the styles for a particular panel pane, I can click the gear. And then in this section here, style, right now it says no style, so I'll click change. And I can change this to use rounded corners or my custom pane styles. So I'll choose my custom pane styles and I'll use the patterned style as well as a small caps heading style and save this page. I'll see if the update and preview works. And it's not working particularly well because I have some styles applied to the content in this particular panel pane. This is why I like the in place editor because it's just a little quicker to be able to preview the styles. So I'll go ahead and change this back to no style. And I'll try this recent comments block, which we'll probably have a little better luck on. So I'll change this to my custom pane styles and I'll use the reverse color values again in the bold heading style. And I'll go ahead and update and save. 
And now I have the style applied to my panel pane. I really do prefer to use the in place editor when I'm dealing with C tool style plugins as it's just a little bit of a easier process to get to the preview. So by implementing a C tool style plugin, I was able to provide a discrete set of options that an editor or site administrator could use to change the styles on a particular panel pane. So these styles could be very much in line with your style guide and by providing that discrete set of options, you're ensuring that whatever options they choose, they will be within your particular brand's style and your site's theme and style. And they're not going to necessarily go astray and, and select an option that is going to look hideous on their site. Another module that provides a C-Tool style plugin with many options that will probably not be within a particular style guide is the stylizer module. So if I go to modules and enable stylizer in the chaos tool suite, I'll save the configuration to enable the module and I'll head back over to a node page. I'll click customize this page and I'll click on the paintbrush icon here and custom style. This is provided by stylizer. If I click next and then choose a basic style, now I have this very elaborate form with a live preview and it lets me choose the colors for the background, text, border, the font, all of the options are available to you here. Now this might seem like a really great thing, but it's really going to not provide any constraints and it's not going to guarantee that the options selected are within your style. But if you want to provide just a free for all interface, then Stylizer module might be the module for you. And for more information about Stylizer module, check out the panel series and there is a lesson there on Stylizer module. So in the case where you have a particular style guide, you want to provide a discrete set of options. You want to control the classes and you want to control the markup and you just want to provide certain options to your site administrators. Implementing a C-Tool style plugin can really provide an excellent solution in that use case. In the next lesson, we'll dive in how to actually implement the module. And in further lessons, we'll go through line by line the code necessary to implement a plugin for C-Tool styles. See you in the next lesson.